What's up guys, Magic Nafs here, and in this video I'm going to be doing sort of just more of a comparison video, uh, but sort of a review on, uh, on green gas, and just the comparison between using green gas and propane. Now, you might be wondering, like, why are you comparing it? Because they're literally the same thing. They are the same, but they're not quite the same, and I'll explain why. Um, so, for... For five plus years that I've been playing airsoft, I've been using green gas. And the thing is, most of the time, I don't even shoot uh, my gas pistols that much. Uh, I do shoot it once in a while, but in the end, I don't run through a lot of green gas um, most of the times. And um, even when I do, it's just small little fill-ups or top-offs, and, and I'm good. So I usually don't go through a can of gas that quickly. So price was never a big issue for me. Now, um, I started off with the Tokyo Murui revolver, you know, that was fine. And uh, now I have the Tanaka Python revolver, and it's still really good. Um, when I first got this, I was able to get 150 shots before I had to uh, refill it. Now, because I had to change out uh, the cylinder, it's going at about 120. Um, so not as much, but still very, very impressive. So, um, I mean, hopefully you won't even have to shoot that many, right? But um, it's nice either way. And that was with um, with this gas. This is Crossfire Super Power Green Gas. This is the green gas that I've been using most of uh, the time when I've had to shoot uh, my gas pistols. And this is like really good stuff. Obviously, because it's super power green gas, this um, this really helps with my with with uh, with my gas efficiency for my gas pistols. And uh, you know, for a can like this is about fifteen dollars uh, where I am uh, Canadian. I don't know uh, if you could get this at other places depending on where you live, but uh, I'm gonna explain why I'm, I'm emphasizing on, on this uh, so much because um, my other pistol which is a VFC USP 9 okay uh, great gun I love shooting it when I'm just planking for fun or if I want to change things up and do a pistol only game uh, I mean this would I would I would use this once in a while for a pistol only game as well as um, I think I've used this once or twice. Um, I don't go pistol only that much, but when I do, it's obviously with one of these, right? Um, now, I got uh, this at a, my local airsoft store before many times, and then recently, because of COVID, quarantine and everything, I had to get more gas, and they were out of stock, unfortunately. They didn't have this, um, so I had to go with a different brand. I believe it was a... Um, I think it was Vulcan or something like that, or, or, or sorry, no, it was a KWA brand of green gas, and it was a much smaller bottle than this, and when I tried it, I was shooting with the USP pistol, and it did not, um, it did not shoot as well, uh, because after, because this holds, this, these uh, magazines hold 25 rounds, I was only able to get to about half before completely ran out of gas. So I knew at that point, okay, like this gas isn't um, doing its job. Um, you know, this this gas this pistol's um, completely stocked. By the way, I haven't done any upgrades to it, um, but this gas just isn't going to work for me. So I figured, what if I'm? Um, you know, I've heard people say that you know go switch to propane, uh, like pure propane, because you know the pressure's a little higher, it's cheaper. You know, you can. As long as you can get past the smell and everything, then you're good. So I was like, okay, I'm open to try it and just to see, you know. But I've kind of heard mixed things. Like, it doesn't really make much of a difference and stuff like that, yada, yada. I wanted to at least try it just to see for myself. So I got myself a few cans and a propane adapter, obviously. And uh, you know what? Like, granted, the smell is pretty bad. <laughs> Um, I mean, you kind of get used to it, but at the same time, you don't. And I think that's just because I'm so used to using uh, green gas and it doesn't have the smell. That's why, like, yeah, it's, 
it's much more pleasant using this, especially if you're shooting indoors, obviously, right? Like, you wouldn't want to be using this too much uh, indoors because you're really going to stink up the house. But, um, like, I tried it, and at first I thought it was pretty good. Like, when I shoot my first 10 shots with it for both my revolver and my, my USP, I actually get do I do get a slightly higher FPS rating. Like, typically with this, I was getting around 320 uh, feet per second uh, in, in the beginning. And then when I switched to the propane, I ended up getting around 340, 350 with this, which was pretty, <coughs> which is really something. And then with the uh, VFC USP, uh, normally this shoots like around 320-ish, right? Well, I'm saying, same as this. And then this one up to 340 or 350, which is quite impressive. But then after 10 shots, that's when the problems kicked in is that, you know, over time, like, I guess because because of that pressure, it's, it's exerting that extra force on those first 10 shots. Uh, the gas just doesn't seem to hold pressure after a while. So like halfway through a mag, I just lose gas and you know I can't do anything. Like I have to, I can't finish off the magazine. I have to refill it, which obviously isn't practical. Um, so and that was the same thing with all of my mags. Like I, it didn't matter if how new or old my mags were. Like they just couldn't, like propane just couldn't hold pressure um, over a duration for at least in this case a 25 round magazine so you know that just that was the biggest that was a big issue for me you know even though you could get higher power in in my case of the VSC USB it doesn't work for me because sure you get more power but you don't get to finish off your magazine so that's an issue but same thing um, more or less with the um, uh, Tanaka Python revolver uh, not as big of a difference, uh, but like I'm, what I mean by that is, so I would get good power, like I said, but I would say I was getting on average about 20 shots less, um, or even 20 or 30 shots less with uh, propane, because just because over time, especially when it gets to less than half, the pressure uh, just kind of drops dramatically and so I think it was around a hundred shots when it would just lose power completely sometimes I got lucky maybe just because it was slightly warmer conditions I was able to get um, around 120 shots but then once I finally was able to get my hands on this crossfire uh, green gas uh, at, a, at an airsoft store a little further away from me that I had to pay for shipping unfortunately but um, I was able to get it like no problem, like max out the gas efficiency on this at least with this new um, with this new cylinder. I mean, I do wish I still had the old cylinder, but because it kind of uh, broke on me, I had to get a new one. Um, so yeah, but still really good gas efficiency. And again, because of this gas, it was able to uh, boost my the gas efficiency for. This VFC USP whereas the propane didn't help much and I also found that um, once you get to about half less than half of the propane uh, in the tank it loses its power so you full you fill it fully and even after the first five shots it's already losing its pressure so like it's kind of a waste even though it's like bigger and stuff like the size of the tank like you're really only able to use half before like you're pretty much done with it like you can't use the, the third of it as much and another thing is that it is kind of annoying with having to always like fill your silicone like I I uh, fill it dry but pr I will squirt some silicone into the, um, the fill valve every few fills just to obviously make sure I still get some silicone in there to keep the o-rings nice and healthy um, but yeah, like that kind of can get annoying afterwards because you just obviously don't want to waste silicone the whole time. And, um, yeah, like I said, just the smell, it's, it's not horrible, but it is a nuisance, especially if you get used to using green gas, good green gas like this, then you'd rather not have to deal with this, honestly. So again, 
this is for me, uh, coming from me, uh, that from a guy that doesn't, um, uh, like I mostly am shooting with my, my AEGs. Uh, I don't shoot with my pistols that often, but when I do, it's on the, like, on like the shooting range where I work at just for fun. So like, even then, yeah, so like even then I'm still would pick this over propane because well like look at this I mean you can get this for fifteen dollars and you know you can get this for eight but man like you're get you're still getting a, a very healthy amount like of green gas like oh, one thousand one hundred milliliters right and it's super power green gas so the pressure inside here is actually better than this so I mean you can pretty much compare this to the um, new pro uh, black gas I'm pretty sure right so I mean guys just what I'm trying to say is just don't don't think that cheaper and don't don't always think that the cheaper route is the better route you know um, I'm sure in some cases depending on the gun you have um, you it might your gun your handguns might be able to to be fine just with propane but in some cases propane's just not gonna be uh, the right alternative um, in terms of maximizing your your gas blowbacks uh, gas efficiency you know sometimes like in my case you're gonna have to go with the slightly expensive route um, but for good high quality green gas and to also not have to deal with the issues of the smell and you know propane adapters silicone oil and then just like I said like only using half of it when there's still less than half and it doesn't help you so those are my thoughts um uh, on green gas versus propane honestly guys like if you do have some of this around where you can buy it this is really good stuff i definitely recommend this uh green gas it is very very good um and it's what i trust and use with my uh with my gas uh, pistols, and I will continue to use this for as long as I can. Um, that said, uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below, and I hope I will see you guys in my future videos. Until next time, peace out, guys.